sort of tabletop thing. I uh, wanted to do a quick video on carving a uh, improvised sheath or blade protector for uh, one of your knives. This is for a PSK, a Turley Tops PSK. Um, it's friction fit. You can see that it's in there pretty good. Uh, it's carved out of cottonwood bark, which is thick stuff. It's relieved on the inside for the blade. I'll show you how I did that. And it's not hard at all um, and pretty uh, self-explanatory. But uh, kind of a fun little project to mess with. So <clears throat> this is what cottonwood bark looks like. This is actually a pretty exceptional piece. Uh, this is off a very old uh, cottonwood tree. Um, I think that I've seen people compare cottonwood bark to sassafras bark also. It has this sort of corky, easy to carve uh, properties to it. And it can get pretty large, so you could use something like that. Uh, even if you can't find any cottonwood or, or other type of bark that will work, you can use uh, easy to carve wood, of course. <laughs> um, even hardwoods that are green. So it's a uh, it's doable probably anywhere you live. So here we go. First things first, we process this big chunk down into something usable. This will just be a score line so I don't screw up my straight edge. I'll do that a couple more times and get back to you. Okay, we don't need them this thick, so I'll go ahead and baton this down, get rid of some of the bulk, try not to break it in half. You have to forgive me, I'm using a, a rubber mallet, not out of the woods. That should work. This one's a little wide, so I'm gonna take and cut that down to about the same width. Good enough. Okay, so now we gotta draw the profile of the blade on one of our blocks. You could do this with uh, you could do this with a uh, sharp stick, a rock, or charcoal from your fire if you're out in the woods. Okay, now we just carve that out, relieve, relieve that uh, outline, give yourself a little bit more than the line itself. That way you have enough room for the blade to come in. Now if your blade uh, can't sell, like this one does, you're going to have to cut out a wider area so the whole thing can slide out. pretty deep. That way when you chip this out, you'll have a nice area for the blade to sit in. Always cut away from your hands, of course. You just start uh, 
chipping it out. Ideally you want, at first you want enough for your entire blade to sit in, so if your knife is say 3 16 thick, then you're going to want uh, 3 16 inch relief here, deep. Um, and then we'll fit it after that. I'm going to carve the other side. perfect, especially if I do it, but it uh, should work. Okay, so everything fits pretty close to flush. This right here is a little high, but uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Now, the other piece I'll try and flatten a little bit best I can. We want to leave as much of this on as we can for now on this relief side. This one because uh, we're going to end up trimming this down to make a nice friction fit. I'm going to take a little bit off right here because it's pretty out of square or out of flat. Okay, that's better. Test fit. Also, put a X or just maybe carve a chamfer on the edge side so you know how this thing sticks back in there like so okay good it's good and loose right now which is what we want so now take and trim this raised part down until we get a nice friction fit on both pieces when the knife slides in. Just to where it'll barely, where it will barely hold. Let me back it up here. And you want it just to where it will barely hold, because you're going to tighten it with paracord or natural cordage. So that's a pretty good fit. I may go just a hair more. And a little bit of a chamfer here, so the knife is a little easier to get started. all together make it nice and tight I'm going to use paracord for this um, you can use uh, paracord inner strand paracord whatever you want uh, natural fiber will work just fine if you cord it up um, the Yule knot is what I call this I don't know what it's really called uh, Terry Barney has a 
video on wrapping handles. Iowa Woodsman is his YouTube name. I'm sure you all know who he is. Uh, and that, that's what he uses is the Yule knot. I don't know uh, the bushcraft term for it. But you could use anything. You could jam knot at the end and uh, just wrap. Do uh, basically whatever you wanted. All it has to do is hold the, hold the thing together. Now from here you could uh, go ahead and put some uh, bark in there, uh, strip some bark and uh, make a loop pretty easily um, and then just uh, incorporate it into this wrap or you could just take some more paracord or some more uh, natural cordage and tie it onto your uh, tightening cordage and make a loop if you want to carry it on your belt. Now would be the time to, to do that as you're wrapping so you get integrated into the, the wrap. Okay, this is how the Yuli knot works. Uh, you leave a loop and a tail. So you just wrap it around. And you wrap your cordage around that loop and the object. When you get to close to the end, hang on. You get close to the end, then you take the tail of the wrapping end slide it through the loop. This is a demo knot. This is what, why it's called, why I know it's called a Yuli. Uh, then you take the other end and pull it tight. And now it'll hold. You can even pull it down in there farther if you want to make it even more secure. Like so. And you just cut off your ends. Alright, there's our chamfered edge. So I know the edge of the knife goes that way. It's going to be tight. And that's the point, that's what you want. And now you got a friction fit sheath. Um, improvised. It's not something you're gonna want to carry every day. But uh if you like I say if you incorporate a belt loop there, um, you know, you run it all the way down onto the paracord or your natural cordage, put it on your belt, or you could put this in your pack, your improvised pack, whatever. And you can continue wrapping. I just didn't have enough paracord to, to finish it off. If it uh, starts to get loose, starts to, the knife starts to want to come out easily, then you'll have to take it apart. So do it with a knot that you can take apart easily. The Yuli is pretty easy to take apart. And uh, then just go back in and do what we did before. Shave that uh, raised portion down and adjust it for fit. That's it. Improvised bark knife sheath made out of cottonwood bark. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.